Hello and welcome to Central Ohio Heaters. Thanks for your interest today in our tech help video. The title of our video is Burner Runs But Will Not Produce a Flame. A few safety precautions first. If you use this video, you are agreeing to use it at your own risk. Be sure to let the unit cool down and clean all the ash out of the unit, especially if it's soaked with oil or antifreeze because it may burn uncontrollably. Do not stick your head near the peep door until after the flame is established because if the heater is hot and the chamber gets filled with oil fumes and then the oil fumes light, it will explode in your face, kerpoof! May burn your arm, your face. Be sure to wear safety glasses. Burner runs but will not produce a flame. Danger. Do not light the heater like we're going to do here when the heater is warm or for sure not when the heater is hot. Because if the hot heater is full of unburnt fuel, it will violently explode and burn you. We have disconnected the transformer here. There's no current going to the transformer, so it's not going to light, simulating a bed transformer condition. We're going to turn it on here and then we're going to light it with a burn somatic torch. Try lighting it manually with a small burn somatic torch or something similar and let it run for say two hours. If it lights and runs for two hours but will not relight, you are down to transformer or electrodes. Just clean the electrodes. There could be a carbon bridge across the electrodes where it grounds out with a carbon clinker here in the electrodes. Inspect it with a mirror or call us and order replacement transformer or electrodes. Some important factors. Turn on your circuit breaker incoming power here for 7 to 15 minutes. Some furnaces take up to 30 minutes to warm up all the oil preheaters before you to try to fire it because cold oil won't burn. During any trial for ignition hereafter called TFI, air must whistle through the nozzle at 12 to 15 psi on most models. If not, the air solenoid may be rusted and or dirty and or inoperative. Some of these air solenoids on the, some of the different burners, different styles of air solenoids. Inside here is a metal plunger with a spring. The electromagnet opens it and the air comes through the burner. On any Shenandoah, Clean Burn, Wedco, Lenair, you must have at least 60 PSI from the shop air, air compressor coming to the burner air regulator or the air inlet fitting. Especially on a Shenandoah, if the incoming air is too low, this burner will not run. Or on a Resner, Energy Logic, Black Gold, Warm, Fornax, and Omni, you should feel the compressed air coming out the excess bleeder hole here. It bleeds it down to the proper pressure for the different size furnaces. Resner has an orifice that bleeds off the excess pressure from the air compressor. You should be able to feel the compressed air blowing in your face two to three feet away from the air bleed off bleeder on the air compressor on most models. If not, the air compressor could be bad. Be sure to fix all air problems before proceeding. To test the air pressure, visit www.centralohioheaters.com. Click on our technical help page to see how to check for the air pressure. Next, oil should spray into the chamber like a heavy fog. If not, Check for a steady oil flow for at least three minutes at the bleeder oil inlet four-way T fitting or the regulator on most models.
with an old style pressure system and the oil pressure regulator, check to see that the oil pressure is correct during TFI. If there is still no oil flow through the nozzle, just remove the nozzle from the burner and blow backwards through the nozzle with compressed air. Make sure you can see through the nozzle or it's not clean. Then reinstall the nozzle and retry. Warning, on a Lenair, see our Lenair nozzle replacement video before removing the nozzle or you may cut the O-ring. Then see if the oil fogs into the chamber. If there's still no oil flow through the block and or the nozzle, check to see if the oil solenoid is getting 110 volts or stick a screwdriver through the electromagnetic coil and see if there is a hum frequency pulse in the oil solenoid electromagnet. We'll turn it on here. This will hold the screwdriver until I shut it off. When the current drops out, the magnetism quits. If there is still no flow, the oil preheater block may be plugged. Call us for a reconditioned burner. With a new style meter pump, check for no oil pressure or oil fog into the chamber. The oil pump may just need primed or the oil pump may be bad if you don't get any oil pressure through the bleeder. See the burner spec sheet that came with your meter pump when you bought the furnace from us. Or watch our video entitled How to Prime a Meter Pump. If the oil pressure to the burner is above 40 psi during TFI, remove the nozzle and blow it backwards with compressed air. Make sure it's clean. Blow the carbon, whatever's in the nozzle, out. Or on a Lenair, see our Lenair nozzle replacement video before removing a nozzle. If there's still no oil flow through the block and or the nozzle, check to see if the oil solenoid is getting 110 volts or stick a screwdriver through the solenoid electromagnetic coil to see if there is a pulse hum in the screwdriver handle during TFI. On all models, the oil solenoid must be clean and operating during TFI. Typical oil pressure on most models is approximately 2 to 8 during TFI. On a Shenandoah, you must have a green light during TFI. If there's no green light, check for a good air supply. On a clean burn 500 series burner, you must have a yellow pump light during TFI. If not, check for a good air supply. On all models, there must be proper air pressure to close the low air pressure switch. On all models, oil pump on tank must run during TFI. On all models, the combustion air blower must run during TFI. That's this blower wheel here inside the burner ran by this motor. It blows air at the fire. All models must run during TFI. On all models, the burner must warm up the oil preheater. The preheater assembly that warms up the oil has to get hot or the oil won't light and burn. If it still doesn't light, did you use new oil to prime it? If so, new oil has flame retardants in it and doesn't burn. If you primed it with new oil, dump the new oil out of the oil filter and reprime it with used oil. Then bleed off two gallons of oil at the burner bleeder and try to refire it. If necessary, take a small burnzomatic torch, light the flame and let it run for two hours. There may still be some new oil in the burner system, makes it hard to light. After two hours of burning, it should relight automatically. For electrode adjustments, see your manual for illustrations or see the burners pictured on each specific brand page on our website, centralohioheaters.com. Click on the pictures and they will open up big so you can see them nicely. If your burner still doesn't light, see our tech help page on our website. It's eight pages long. 
you can print it out and take it right over to your heater. Just go to centralohioheaters.com and click on the technical help tab on the left. There's lots of helpful information there. Or see our videos page for other videos. And thanks for watching.